Hello, I'm Jack Drury. I'm Sergio Alvarez. And we're back with ADPSM and we're going to be talking about Showlink. Now, if you've used Accident Digital before, specifically with ADX transmitters, you're already quite familiar with what Showlink is, but let's go through the system completely from the scratch and see what it does in terms of bringing Showlink to an IM system. Before we can do that though, we need to get our receiver packs talking to our transmitters. So sure. Sergio, sure. talk so me through let, how to get this Let's do that. Together. So uh, we'll go to the main menu, right? Uh, well, actually we'll go to channel one, right? Um, and then you'll notice uh, that there's next and previous buttons, uh, which is quite handy for uh, getting to the channel that you might want to get to. I'm so going to scroll through, right? right, right. I'm going to get to channel three, um, and um, I could hit sync, um, but I'm going to show you uh, a new uh, receivers page that we have, um, where you have up to eight slots, um, receiver slots, where you can have the the uh, any registered body pack receivers follow the frequency of the transmitter, right? So I'm going to, and then you'll notice that you have. Uh, two sync options. You have your normal sync, which will actually assign a body pack receiver to a slot. Um, so again, to get that synchronous behavior going, um, or you can sync without linking, uh, where it'll just send the channel name, the frequency, and whatever sync presets you program. I see. So you can have eight receivers talking to show link per channel. Right. And in that scenario, all the receivers will be receiving audio at the same time. But if you do things like change frequency, all of those eight receivers will also change their frequency on the channel. Correct. Wow. And then if you're in a situation where, I don't know, you've got 16 backing dancers and you just want to send them out there with a load right. of packs. That's where sync no link is probably more useful because you can just send the frequencies to as many packs as you want. Awesome. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's register a pack. So I'm going to hit the sync button um, and then uh, it'll kind of show up. There you okay, go. there we go. Once the body pack is linked, uh, it'll show up on a slot, and what's uh, cool about Showlink is that you can go in to that body pack and change uh, any parameter that exists on this body pack. Okay, I want to look at two things here. I want to look at what we can monitor, yeah. and I want to look at what we can control. So let's start with what we can see. On right. The so what devices. you see here is uh, kind of this uh, what we call a receiver widget um, that one gives you the quality meter, right? So just like the Accent Digital microphones, um, the body pack receivers have a quality meter, um, a number you know from one to five. Um, anything above three, you're you're solid with a good SNR. Uh, ratio SNR being signal to noise ratio, yeah, right? right? So that's a measurement of how much signal there is versus noise floor. Right. So three and above is a very healthy signal. Mm -hmm. um, anything below that, you might want to try uh, improving your your setup, right? Yeah. Put another antenna in. Spatial diversity. Spatial diversity <laughs> always helps. Um, and then uh, uh, you have a blue LED that kind of mim mimics the blue RF LED that's on the body pack. You have battery life, right? So what's great about Showlink is that you don't have to guess of when you have to change your batteries, right? You'll know once you get closer to the end uh, when you might need to schedule uh, your, your battery swaps. Um, you have the volume position, right? So you can actually see um, where the, the volume is set to, right? If it's in the five position, you'll have a numeric value uh, close to five. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's also a headphone connect status, right? So there's an icon that shows you right away whether or not there's a headphone that's connected to the body pack. So that's something that you can tr uh, troubleshoot a lot faster. Wow. So old days of FM, PSM 1000, I put the pack on you, you're gone. I have no idea what's happening. Right. And now I can see what the quality is of the receiver pack. I can see here this has got 29% of its battery remaining. So I might want to go and consider changing something here. The volume level is really cool. I had this out with an engineer a couple of weeks ago and they said it was great because they had the same in-ears as their artist, the mm -hmm. same model, and they could put their cue pack to the same volume and then be experiencing exactly the same mix that their artist will be. Exactly. That's awesome. The headphones plugged in thing is also great. I mean, there's yeah. loads of examples of artists yeah. just accidentally unplugged. Yeah, it happens all the time and now you'll know right away. And what's this last indicator on the bottom right? Uh, that is here? the show link signal strength. So um, you'll notice um, when the uh, show link goes in and out of range, right? You, if, it, if you do need uh, more uh, range in terms of the show link, you might want to consider adding a show link access point um, to extend that coverage. Got you. 
Okay, so that's what we can monitor. I guess we can monitor it here and, and in Workbench as well, right? That is right. And do all the same monitor features that exist for Workbench Axion come with this as well? Like, it can will. I record that monitor screen? It will, yes. So there's a timeline feature in Wireless Workbench that synchronizes with the telemetry um, that you see on the, the transmitters. Awesome. OK, so that's everything we can monitor. Let's look at what we can control. So that's on the other side of this menu item. What, what things can I control about my body? Yeah. So again, any registered body pack receivers will be synchronized with the transmitter channel, right? So if you uh, manually change the transmitter frequency, the body pack will follow automatically, which is quite helpful, especially as you're traveling from one city to the next, doing your RF coordination from scratch, and then you can just hit deploy on the transmitters and the, your receivers would automatically follow. And other things like channel name, like that kind of stuff? Yeah, channel name, um, the audio settings, any utilities that you might be interested in, right? You want to, if you have a kind of a default template for you know, a mass number of body pack uh, receivers, you can, you can create a preset in wireless workbench to uh, batch edit. Batch edit, so you can do like a control A, send that to a ton of packs. Right, yeah, there's a the property sidebar. Um, you can uh, multiple select and then hit apply on that uh, property side panel and uh, there you go. Okay, well there you have it. Axion Digital PSN, all of the hardware, all of the features, all the operational presets, all the devices. Super exciting that we're able to bring this to market and yeah, give engineers so many more options, right, for yeah. deploying stuff on shows. Yeah. So yeah, we're really excited. Um, hopefully, you know, Axion Digital PSM provides higher RF and audio quality, um, and also introducing no, new workflows that help uh, give time back to minor engineers. Um, thank you so much, Sergio, for taking the time to run through this with us. We're really glad that you joined us for these videos. If you've got more questions, you can visit our website, you can visit our FAQs page. You can sign up to SAI and you can do a ton more training with me, with Sergio, with various other people. Go and learn about RF, go and learn about Wireless Workbench. There's a ton of ways that you can contact us as well. You can get in touch via our website, you can send us emails, you can contact your local shore representative and ask any questions you like. There are no dumb questions, right? Yeah. We love questions. Yeah, and uh, don't forget uh, SAI. Yes. Yeah. Don't forget SAI. SAI is the place to be. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you on the next videos. <laughs> we did SAI twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we? <laughs> but I, I love that. I think we should keep it. <laughs>